hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I don't know if I'm going to leave this um, as a video and talk through it or if I'm going to add music to it. So we will see. But what I'm going to do right now is draw a heart. I'm just going to sketch it out. Now you could use a stencil or, you know, if you have something, I can see this isn't as full. This is just a regular canvas. It's a, you know, I, I really don't know. Look, maybe it looks like it's five by seven. But I'm going to try to get the heart as even as I can. I even want to add a little bit more rounder up here. I'm going to do that and erase this right here. I'm going to be painting it so it doesn't matter and I didn't gesso it so you can if you want. And then I'll explain it why I'm doing this in a minute and what I'm doing but I'm just going to kind of, I just want an idea of where I'm going with this. And then I want a, I think I kind of want it like that, like that. I gotta watch how I draw because I'm drawing crooked, of course. And I don't want to draw crooked. Okay. And then I want to do a, how am I going to do this? Um, all right, so I want, I want to do, I'm just kind of penciling in it. I'm not going to worry too much right now about all the detail. If that makes sense. And maybe it will once you see what I'm doing. I don't know. It kind of looks like a pineapple. I'm just blocking out what I know that I'm going to want. And I can always change this as I go. It's to look like flames, but um, how do I say? See, I want it to be. I'm gonna have to do this over because I'm not happy. This is this is why I don't know if this will be on just to music or me doing this. And you see why I love this eraser? Because it makes it all in one big eraser piece. It's called Vanish. And it makes it into one all, one big piece. I should have erased these two. At least in the bottom. And I'm getting graphite everywhere. Yeah, okay, good. Right, so I want to be... I need this to be... Kind of, that's where I should have probably started. And then I want to kind of go down. Do I want the flames? I want these longer. And I want these a little shorter, and then these will be the shortest. And then I'll play with these once I get them. A little shorter. And then this to be a little bit shorter. Okay. 
and making flames. And I'm gonna have to play, the paint's gonna play more of a role in this than my drawing will, but I just kinda want it. Blocked out. So when I, because I wanna paint it, but I wanna have some room to play if that makes sense. Because I just want, well, I hate when things don't go the way I want them. I wonder if I should make that smaller. I'm going to erase again. This is why this probably won't be the uploader. I want these connected, but how am I going to connect these? Plus when erasing on the, that's why I like using flat canvas because when you use flat canvas, you're erasing on a flat cam. I know this looks like a hot mess, but you're erasing on actually a board that's like the ground, like the table. But on here, it's much different because you have a canvas that is very flexible. That kind of makes it hard. So I know this looks like a hot mess but it gives me an idea. Oh, it's driving me crazy. That's the idea it's giving me. I don't have to have it that go up that high though. That's one thing. And it's funny because paint is like the eraser of all mistakes. Kind of looks like a leaf right now, but I'm really gonna just go with it and deal with it when I paint. I know I want my heart red, so let me try to find a good red. Okay. Make sure you dust all your little crumbs off. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of my red in there. Take my paintbrush. Wet it like I always do. And I'm just kind of going to go in and I'm going to try to avoid the line, the pencil lines if I can, because I want to erase them. I don't want the graphite to smudge in. So I'm going to go as close to them as I can. Eh, sometimes going over them, but erase what I can once I get my first coat of red. And as always, like I always say, you know, you can keep your pencil lines on there. I'm going to erase off what I can and because once the acrylic gets on there and dries, you won't be able to erase it. And that's okay, but I still want to fill in these lines that I'm missing. It kind of looks orange on the screen, but it's really not. It's really red. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious, excuse me. I'm gonna set that there. I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun for a minute or your hair dry, it doesn't matter. My acrylic dries fast, so that's great. Now, like I said here, I'm blocking in. 
and this is what I kind of did here. So this isn't, I'm not set to this as my flames. My flame work will come more when I'm painting. And I don't know if I'm going to keep this here, but I needed to block out so I could kind of see what I'm dealing with and see what I want to do. Now I'm going to take my eraser, tear some of the paper away. Oh, what a day already. And now I'm just going to go in and erase all the pencil lines around the heart. I'm not going to worry about the flames right now because I kind of need them blocked in still. I, I love this. Look. Look at the pencil so you don't get like all the schmutz everywhere. You just get some of it. Especially when you're drawing, like in when you're in bed or on your um, couch, you can't, and you're, you know, you just can't move around. It's good because you don't have all these everywhere. You just kind of get pieces. I'm go here one more time. And I can see where kind of st still on there a little bit, but the red will cover it. So I'm going to go back in and get more red. And now I'll go around the outside where I wanted to get. If you don't want to use too many brushes, because I probably should be using a thinner brush to go around, just turn your brush to the side and then sweep it in. If you get too much, or pull it to the side again and go over the part that needs it. Now this is just a canvas from the company, you know, when you buy it. I've not gessoed it. But you can if it makes if you're somebody who wants it smoother and wants to. Have it that way. Now I'm gonna go in the middle. This red's gonna take a couple coats, so go in the middle in places where I see I need it. I haven't decided and I probably won't decide till I'm almost done and I have the background painted in whether I'm going to outline this in a black or not. And how, if I'm going to do it straight on, like just a straight painting or if I'm going to make it like a little funky, I don't know. I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna give that red one more coat. And I'm not gonna rinse my brush right this second. I'm just gonna leave it sit here. Rather than rinsing it and getting my water all dirty. Um, this is for a girl that works at my pharmacy and has been very, very kind to us. And she had given me a book to read um, about loss and death. And the book is a very religious book. She's a very religious person. Uh, I knew that when, because she always says, I, I'll say, we'll say, oh, how are you today? And she'll say, very blessed, how are you? And, you know, that kind of thing. And I think that's awesome. But she gave me a book to read about loss. And um, not my kind of thing, not my kind of book, but um, she's so lovely. She's so wonderful. She's so kind. She helps us out. She knows us by when we call. And um, I wanted to give her something back when I gave her her book back. So I thought the Sacred Heart 
is kind of something that I really dig um, for different reasons than what her belief system is, but I just really dig it. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm miserable as I'll get out today. And I'd like to do something for somebody else to uh, make me feel a little bit better. So that's why I'm here recording it, hoping. And I didn't want to do it too mixed media because I don't know, like, I don't even know, like I'm starting out very, like a very plain kind of acrylic painting and then maybe adding uh, words on here um, or a quote, I don't know, but I want to kind of start out plain and see where it takes me because I don't want to do it too functified because I don't know. To her, she might look at it and not dig it. I don't, I want it to have meaning to her, but I don't want it to, I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. And so that's why I'm doing this. I don't know if I move this up more. Can you see how red that is? No, I think the light's making it look a little, a little lighter than it is because it is very dark. It is a very nice dark red, not a blood red. But as it dries, it gets a little darker. But I like this color red. I think it's the uh, engine red, fire engine red. Yeah. I like deep maroon red myself. But I'm going to just give this a bit. And again, I always tell you guys, if you don't have a heat gun, use your hair dry. It works just as good, if not better, sometimes. You only need a heat gun if you're going to emboss. I like to emboss, so I have a heat gun, but if I didn't emboss, then I would definitely be using my hair dryer. And you can go to the thrift store and get a hair dryer really, really cheap and keep it in your art room so you don't have to always bring yours out. Which if I had more room at my desk, I probably would get one and do. Because the heat gun sometimes can when I'm doing paint because I hold it too close and I'm, I'm in like in a hurry and I always forget that, you know, it is a heat gun and uh, it will make the paint bubble. And that's a great texture if that's what I'm going for, but sometimes I just want it to dry. If that makes sense, I'm sure it does. But like I said, use your, you don't need to have a heat gun and think everybody has a heat gun but me. If you want a heat gun, go to AC Moore or Michaels or Joanne's. Use your coupon. You can get one for like 15 bucks with a coupon, I think, if not cheaper. And um, like I said, order to your nearest Goodwill or thrift store. We love going there. So I think I'm good there with these. Now what I might do, all right, now I'm gonna rinse my brush, but I'm gonna keep my red out because I might need it for my, and I know the heart doesn't look perfect and I'm not worried about that. What I am gonna do now, and I probably should wait till this is dry, but I have no patience. I'm gonna erase this because I'm gonna work on this next. And I'll explain why in a minute. I'm going to get off what I can and then dust off in upside down so it doesn't go on my, and then I'm going to take my smaller, where did my smaller eraser go? Oh, if I whine, will it help? This, which I've kind of used both sides of to make a point. I can't find, I have my gummy one. I think it's over in that mess I have to clean over there. So when I erase, I kind of erase on the one side and then we'll switch to the other side so it goes more to a point when I need it in little areas. I need to find my rubber eraser, which I have. <laughs> like I said, I think I set it on the other side and that is the side that is ready to be cleaned. Just a matter of doing it. I had done a painting like this. 
it was a big painting. It was a big canvas many years ago for somebody. And I had put on it as the quote. Um, my gosh, what happened? I don't know if one of my cats got in there. Um, I put on as a quote. The quote was, uh, what was the quote? Uh, that quote that goes, oh, shit. Um, something to the effect of help me, help me accept. I'm so horrible at remembering things. Help, help me accept the things I can change and help me change the things I can change and accept the things I can't or something to that effect. I have no idea. That I don't know what the full quote is, but that's the gist of the quote. And if you know the quote, you'll, that'll be enough for you to know what the quote was. I can't remember the full quote right now. Please help me. Help me. Help me. Accept, help me accept the things. Let me change the things I can change and accept the things I can't or something. Oh, I don't know. I'm horrible with quotes. So what I'm doing is putting a light yellow, just a dot of orange, a light yellow, a medium yellow, and a orange. Any brand, whatever you have. If you only have one yellow, put a little white in it to make it lighter. It's as simple as that. Um, and you'll see how simple you know what I mean like it, it is it's just you don't have to have all the colors they were just staring at me standing there and that's what I'm, I did I always go light to dark so I'm gonna take this is a flat 11 and this is one of the uh, one stroke Donna Dewberry ones and it comes like in the kit and I love these I buy this kits all the time with a coupon because you get such an array of decent brushes and, di and all different sizes to use. And I really like it. So I'm going to kind of go up. I'm going to wing it and kind of. Now, if you want to mix a little bit of gesso in with your light yellow, you can. Um, I'm just kind of going to add a little bit more water. Too much water in my brush. Um, you can to cover. I will just, I, I'm going to see how this covers and then kind of have it go to a point. And then I will uh, either decide to put gesso over that yellow or I kind of want this here in the middle and then bring this out. Because gesso is a wonderful thing and you can use it on a teeny weeny little brush. Okay, so that's going to be, I think I want it a little bit wider. So I'm just going to go in and make it a little bit more wider. And you want to kind of have it come to a point because it's going to be a flame. And we're going to do the details with, I mean, I, I hope I get to that point on here. I'm not going to keep that long. But that's going to be our one. And I'm going to go in for number two. And you see how drawing makes it much harder to really get the thickness of the flames as I want them if that makes sense. Plus we're going to be bringing in other colors, but you want the flames to kind of connect, but not, but have their own kind of dig, you know, thing. And I can go back in and even them up, but I want to have an idea. So do I want to do Uh, this is going to be hard. Let me figure. Maybe I'll do. So I want to bring this up. 
Maybe I'll do one more. Maybe I'll just, because I want one in the middle. Just one. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do straight up. Kind of bring down the flame. I should turn my Facebook off. Sorry, guys, for the beeping. I always mean to. I mean well. Yeah, that'll work. And then just do like a twist there. And then bring, so that's one, two. So this is going to be our third one. So I'm going to bring it up here. But I don't want it to go bigger than that. Yeah, I just kind of do. We're just kind of doing a leaf shape, or at least I am. And please don't, nobody write me and tell me that I suck and that this isn't how you would do it. And I'm, I'm disrespecting whatever the sacred heart means to you. It means something different to me. And uh, to each their own. But I know some of you guys feel that you need to tell me your opinion. And I really don't care. If I cared, I wouldn't be doing my own channel. Or painting or doing this on here. Now, the shading is where we're going to get goodness. But I do want to make this middle... And I don't mean that to disrespect anybody because I have the most supportive, wonderful people on here as my um, subs and my friends and my viewers. I love you all, but people that I don't know can be so nasty. And not just to me. I see them writing on other people's stuff and it's like, really? Because when I look on your page, you don't have a YouTube. Now, I see... I'm going to wet my brush. I'm going to dab it, but I'm not going to, um, I don't like this. So I'm going to go in and wet it with water off my brush. Because this needs to be a little shorter. As well as this. And this is how I do it. Now, at the end of the day, same with this one. At the end of the day, it's not going to matter because we're going to do a, a blue background. But if I can take off what I don't dig before it dries, I'm going to do it. Because I'm not digging that. And it's really hard to see with the... Uh, well, my dogs are walking around. Um, it's really hard to see with the pencil underneath. So I'm probably going to end up gessoing it. Because I don't think that... And then you just go in and dab. And it's like a magic eraser for your paint. If the acrylic's not dry. And like I said, then just go over it again. If you have a little bit more on there, just keep your wet brush wet. Rinse the paint that you're picking up. And it really does make a difference to help pick up that you're not having to deal with so much. And then I just dab. And move your paper towel or your rag every so often because what will happen is what you're picking up as you're dabbing off, as you can see as I'm doing right now, is dabbing in other places because I just picked it up. Okay, so done with that. Okay, so... There we are with that, but what I'm going to do is take some gesso, and I'm not going to mind or care too much if my yellow is dry all the way or not, because it's really not going to make a difference, because I'm going to be putting yellow on it. Should I have gessoed first? Maybe, but I'm not going to worry about it. So you just take, now my brush is a little wet, I didn't, I didn't take all of the uh, water off of it. But I'm just going to kind of go over the pencil marks. Wash, wipe off your brush. Go back into your gesso. And kind of go over those pencil marks again. And that'll do a world of good for you when you go back in. I thought my paint would be thick enough. And apparently I did not pick the thickest paint. And that is a mistake. I think that we all could relate to. When you think to yourself, can I get away without gessoing? And then you go do it, and then 
lo and behold, <laughs> you should have just heard. But it's only an extra step and it's not going to hurt anybody or anything. And it'll just make my yellow a little bit brighter. Okay, now let me show you something. All right, I'm going to get this off the red here. That's where the yellow is, and I'll wipe that off in a minute. But, um, come here, baby, get off there. Let me wipe that real quick. Lift up that water. Okay. As you can see on my canvas itself, when I go to lift up, there's still some pencil marks underneath from where I drew, not where the yellow is, but on the canvas. So I'm just going to go in there and stroke it out. So you won't be able to see that when I do go to put my blue on. And it, the littlest bit works. You don't need a lot. It's just to kind of take that pencil marks that, you know, instead of me going back in with my eraser and you know, working on it, it's just going to do that for me. So kind of looks like top of a pineapple right now. Well, well, too wet, but we'll just, I'll just go around my heart with the gesso that I have because I did not dry my brush properly. So it's a little water down, but I'm not worried about it. I'll just go around my heart, take that off, like that. Then I don't have to worry about the pencil marks after. And then just go around with the rest of my gesso. Okay. And no harm done. Then I'm just going to go in with my dry uh, paintbrush now because I used everything off of it. It's not wet anymore. It has no gesso on it. And it's just going to kind of blend this gesso in so it kind of dries a little quicker. I'm going to kind of give little strokes here to get some of that light yellow in there and to get some points because you want those flames. But the, the bottom layer is hard to really like give it the texture that you want because you're going to be using like this one. I want a little deeper, like a little more up like this. Um, yeah, fuller. You're going to put most of your texture and whatnot in with the darker colors. So the yellow is a great base color to work from. Now I can see I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to dry it very, very well and take the teeniest bit of gesso because I can see in here, I probably could have even used some of that in there. I'm just going to stroke that in here to make this have a little bit of separation. And then, like I said, take this little bit of yellow because here, this needs to go up. A little bit more. Right. I'm going to bring this down a little bit because I kind of want them connected. And then we'll go on to this one, which we're going to be making our main one. All right. So we have that done. So let's work with the darker color now. Let's go in the darker gold or yellow. Or your color, if you only have one yellow and you mix it with white, just do the plain yellow, the gold, more gold yellow. And go in and I'm going to take some off 
and flatten it on both sides. And I'm going to kind of go in and draw. And you can see, I don't know how well you can see on camera, it does have a deeper gold quality. I'm just going to kind of draw in on top of that yellow and on the canvas a little bit with my paintbrush. Now you can use watercolor markers too. Just know that it's going to be movable unless you use like your Derwent colored pencils and do it that way, which you can definitely use. And I'll hold this up. I'll probably put the heart way too far up on the canvas, but you get the idea. It wasn't something I definitely planned out first. I just kind of sat down and started doing it. Okay, and then down here, I'm going to follow the heart so it kind of pops a little bit. I am bummed. I should have draw, draw, see this is why I draw on paper because then I can sit and perfect it. This is kind of like on the fly, just kind of doing it. After you're doing it, you're kind of like, oh shit, I should have done this, could have done that. And I hate that. We shall see what we can do. Because if all else fellas, I'll throw gesso all over it. Because I really want it, I should have moved this down a little bit more. Yes, I should have. So now I'm going to go into some of the orange and mix it with some of the yellow on my brush. I kind of do the same thing. Closer into the flame. You can use a smaller brush. You can use blending gel. I'm going to use water in a minute. I'm just going to run it over this. Now I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to not dry it all the way, but dry it enough that I can go in and kind of blend the colors. See, I love the heart. I hate the, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I should have made that smaller. Uh, all right, guess what I'm doing? <laughs> you guys have been on here way too long with me, so I'm probably going to end up doing this. But this is what to do when you make a mistake. Wet it with water. I'm going to not touch my heart, though, because I like my heart. I think that it's in a good place if I want to put a quote. And then take your paper towel or your rag or whatever, fold it, and squeeze it up. And I'm not going to worry too much about any of the color that stayed of the yellow. I bet that some of the red's still a little bit wet because I'll be painting over it anyway. I do this over on mixed media paintings. When I get to something that I hate, I don't know if you guys ever do that. I never waste it and I never, you know, I might set it to the side, but I will do what I can to save it because I do like the heart. I just think that the 
I went a little crazy with the uh, flames. I'm like a bigger nothing kind of girl. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to wipe it off. You can see where some of it's already started to dry. I'll take my brush. And give it one more wipe to where I see where it maybe not didn't come up as much as I wanted it. And then here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> is why it's probably I, I might do part two. Dave he lets the dogs out except the one. So I'm going to do this. And I'll leave that yellow in there. Nico is at the door. I didn't know if you saw him. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. And I'm going to gesso this. So when you guys do something and you're not digging on part of it or whatever, don't give up. First of all, gesso is a fantastic thing. And like I said, I add water and get up what I can because if your acrylic paint is not all the way dry, you are good to go. And since I'm adding gesso... I'm just going to throw it down all the way down here. And I'm going to stop here because it's already been a half hour. And I will, I haven't decided whether I'm going to put this on speed up or not, or even put it up. But I will record the second part and, um, and then we'll see what I do with it. I don't know. Like I'm burning up and have a fever, and but I want to do this, and I hate making mistakes when they're stupid mistakes. But it aren't most of our state mistakes one of those things that you're like, oh, don't do it, don't do it. Ah, she did it. So I don't know. We shall see. So I'm putting on my gesso. I'm gonna leave that dry. We're back to the heart. And I gotta fix that front part, <laughs> the flame part, which I will. And I'm going to take my paint that I have and squirt it with water, if my water bottle worked. Even in my palette, I'm gonna squirt it with water if it works. Okay, we're gonna see if it works. Why isn't it working? Okay, just to keep it moist. Let's see, I just squirted water in there just to keep it a little bit moist and all. And I'm going to leave this dry, and we shall see what happens in the next one. That <laughs> You guys just wasted half of your life watching me on this one. But now you know to make sure you measure out and do it the right way instead of just being in your head and fumbling around. All right, guys, be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. I shall talk to you guys later and maybe see you in another video. Bye, guys.